Hey guys, what's your family farm here? Uh, Amy will probably up the volume on the, when she does the editing or I'll do it. But we're here to give you guys good news. But wait, we got some stuff to talk about. Tomorrow yep. is our two year anniversary being on the homestead. I know, I can't believe it. Two years we've been out here. Yep. We, we've done it two years. Yeah. Shockingly, we've done it two years. Yeah. Um, as you guys will see, a lot of good videos coming up. A lot of good videos. I'm sorry that I haven't been posting a whole lot, but I've been working and making videos and haven't had time to edit and do that. And Amy's been busy with work, so she hasn't had time. Yeah. But the videos are coming. I mean, we got a barrage of videos. Yeah. I mean, a lot of good stuff coming. Now, for our one, our second, our two-year anniversary out here. Yep. What have we learned? We've learned a lot. Yeah. We've learned what... Don't take things for granted. Yeah, don't take things for granted. <laughs> um, we've learned to count your blessings. Yep, count your blessings for sure. <laughs> um, what can go wrong will go wrong on the homestead. Yeah, you need to be prepared. <laughs> yeah, be prepared. Yeah. We definitely found that and out. And pay attention to the weather. Yeah, watch out for falling trees. Yeah. <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> what yep. else? Um... Oh, just so many things in this past just, year. You can yeah. never have enough money. Just, no, well that's correct. That doesn't matter whether you live on a homestead well, yeah, or not. But you can never have enough money. But um, you know, being out here and... Shh, you didn't see anything yet. Go ahead. Being out here and um, you know, being more in tune with nature, really paying attention to the weather. Yeah, you yeah. Know, like, when we know it's going to rain, if you come outside in the summertime, you can hear the frogs. Yeah. yeah. And when you hear the frogs, you know it's going to rain. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, when just being in tune to nature, and up here on the ridge, when it gets windy, you can hear the wind come before it gets here. Yep. And I mean, it's crazy. Like you. Because where we are, there's ridges like this, and the wind just goes up and down them. And so when it tops over the next ridge over, you can hear it on its way to us. And it's amazing that it, so we just have to pay attention to that because yeah. sometimes there are pretty high winds up here. Now I want to say this guys, we are outside right now making this video because we've been working out here. Yeah. We do have a fire pit going, just a little fire. We really can't feel the warmth from it. But we have a massive it. storm coming tomorrow. Yeah. They're saying six, seven plus inches for us. And of snow. Of snow. And uh, we have. Which is unusual yeah, for Tennessee. We have already just about reached. Well, Tennessee has just about reached their goal and accumulation no, already. We've doubled what our average is. Oh, we've doubled what our we've average is? We've doubled what our average we've is We've doubled what our already. average is. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been crazy. And it's it's only the 14th of January. Yeah. So, and we've doubled our, doubled our average for the season yeah. as of the 14th of January. Because we normally, right now, I'd be, I'd be working nonstop every day. You know, I try... I try to do a lot in the winter because it's cooler out and I I work better in the winter. Mm -hmm. I get a lot more accomplished in the winter than I do during the summer. Well, it's too hot in Yeah, it, 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 for me it's just, yeah, it's way too much for me. Because in the summer he's got to get outside early in the morning, yep. as soon as the sun comes up, gets outside, gets working, and then by <laughs> before lunchtime he's got yeah. to come inside so he can cool off yeah. because it's just too hot out here. Yeah, I'll, I'll go in the house and I'll legitimately Seriously, I'll pass out. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll sleep for like four hours. And then I'll get up and I'll go right back out yeah. and get stuff done. But and in the summertime, I can come out for a couple hours when I finish work and yeah. be able to do stuff in the garden. Yeah. And, you know, if there's other projects I need to help with, I can do that. So we have a lot of major, major projects happening mm -hmm. on the homestead. I mean, life changing, yeah. farm altering changes coming to the homestead and or to the farm and i'll tell you right now it is going to completely change the aspect of what we have right now mm -hmm. i mean we have waited two years to do this yeah 
and we're finally doing it after two years. But when it's done, we will have the Swisher family farm. Yeah, I mean, we've been slowly doing it here and there for the last yeah. two years. And um, I, I'll post a video of something that we had come through in our first year that helped clear the area for where the garden is now and clear a path for our driveway. But yeah. that that piece of equipment came out here and was here for one day yeah. and cleared what we wanted to clear um, in one day. Yeah, and to make what, it to make it workable. Clear. Yeah, yeah, what we and could what we clear. could afford. Yeah, I mean that was. But over over the process since that happened, that happened within. We were probably out here about five months when we finally mm -hmm. had that done, and now that we're going on our third year, we have a tremendous amount of stuff. Now, in the previous video, you guys probably seen, we had a dozer out here. That dozer, we ended up having a problem. We ended up having to change the head on it. We ended up having to put new seals in it. We ended up having new ejectors. That thing is running like a Cadillac. Yeah. I can't wait. Almost and that's coming out the, here. Pretty much had to rebuild the engine. No, uh, just the head. If we had to rebuild the whole engine, <coughs> we'd be waiting a while. And the whole reason why we haven't really posted many videos with the dozer and all the work is because it's been taking us so long to get parts. We got all the parts. I spent a week with a uh, buddy, Henry of mine, and we got the thing done. We took it for a test drive. <laughs> and it's just, it's amazing. It runs like a Cadillac. So when you guys see the, the new video that'll be coming up soon, you're gonna get to see some heavy equipment because we got some heavy equipment coming in here. We're tired of this little nitpick stuff. We're gonna get all this stuff done and we got about a week, week and a half to do it to get everything done with all this equipment. Um, some of the equipment we got coming is just the dozer. We got a, a hopefully a huge excavator is gonna be out here doing work. I mean, this is all the stuff we want, you know. I spent a lot of my time trying to figure out. We get an idea and then we change our minds or I change my mind, not her, me. And then I finally got to a point now where it's like, look, you know, I want this to work for us, for what we want. And it's not about, you know, it's not so much about the process of the land or, you know, all the stuff we got, but there's stuff on this property that needs to go, like these trees. One of these trees, these pine trees right here, this one could have taken me out. Mm -hmm. And I put some uh, pictures on Facebook of the pictures of the tree, and maybe Amy can put it in here that mm -hmm. came down right by my truck and me, yeah. and scared the daylights out of me. But it was, it was, a, it was a dead man. It was sitting there waiting to go down. And I'll tell you what, we had storms come through here, tornadoes, all this stuff. And that tree didn't come down. Yeah, and it, it got a little more crooked, Yep, but it didn't come down. Just three days ago, the wind up here got so bad that it finally took that tree down. And we got one more sitting over there, but I think that, that's going to be taken down with the dozer. So, but I, I mean, you guys are probably all thinking, why are you taking all the trees out and all this? Well, these trees have beetles, and when the beetles yeah. enter the tree, the tree's done. If we get rid of the tree now and deter all those beetles or kill all those beetles off, then that's something we don't have to worry about on our homestead. Because, you know, they could all be infested right now. We don't know. Yeah. And the trees, the majority of the trees that we want to take out are pine trees. Yeah. And pine trees make the soil very acidic. Yeah. And we didn't know that when we first came out here. We found that out later. <laughs> yeah. Research, research, yeah. research. And um, that could be why our first garden didn't produce as well because yep. we put it in an area that had pine trees. Yep. I'm sure that, uh, I mean, we our uh, grass is growing there beautifully now. And yeah. we have our fruit trees there. And our fruit trees are doing phenomenal. And they're doing phenomenal. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I'm sure if we amended the soil even more, we could have a garden. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Without without any problems. Yep. But the first year we didn't. We amended the soil some, but 
not as much as we could have. Yeah. We didn't put any um, of our own compost in it because we didn't have any yet. Yeah. So. That's another thing we get to use this year. Yeah. Is our compost that we've had sitting there for two years now. Yep. We're finally going to get to use it on the garden this year. So yep. we're going to see how that ramps up the soil. Then we want to get, you know, our projects is we want to get a worm farm started here. We have our own worms. Mm -hmm. um, that's, we want to get some honeybees. Yep, some bees. We'll have some bees hopefully sometime this year. I'd like to get it in uh, mid-spring if we can, but those are all things that are based around money. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just don't have the money. We got other projects on the homestead we got to get finished first. Um, a lot of fencing videos coming up. Um, a lot of paddock building. We'll be building paddocks. We'll be building mm -hmm. barns, uh, mini barns for our animals that we got coming out here that I'll most likely get in September of this year. And I've already talked to the lady and got it worked out and I'm kind of excited about that. So I got to have at least three paddocks done mm -hmm. for them when they come. Um, you know, it just it's been it's been a whirlwind this past two years of really we're slowly been setting ourselves up to do yeah. this little by little yep and now you know we got our well our well's doing good i had a few problems with it i learned some stuff about the well um if you asked me if i wanted to use rainwater or well water i'd use well water rainwater for water in the garden and well water for taking baths and drinking and cooking at least our well water. Yeah, our well water is phenomenal. Our well phenomenal. water is phenomenal. Yeah. So. As we sit here drinking bottled water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, when we're out here, it's not like yeah. when we're in the house, you know. Yeah. And until, uh, unfortunately, the reason why I keep stating that we're uh, homesteaders farm is because homesteaders, we don't have power hooked up. We're off grid. We're not. But eventually, we will be on grid. Mm -hmm. We want to tell you now, we will yeah, eventually be on grid. Yeah, and our goal has never been, and I, don't, I think yeah. we've mentioned that before. I mean, you can always hear the generator running in the background. Yeah. We do have a refrigerator inside the cabin, so we yeah. do have to run the generator most of the time. Yep, 24-7. Yeah, to keep the refrigerator going. So our goal is eventually, and we've never, never said that we were going to stay off grid, but our goal has been eventually to be on grid. And... <clears throat> We're basically going to modern homestead. Yeah. We want to, we want to, our goal is not to be off grid. Our goal is to be self sufficient, self -sufficient. and yeah. grow our own food and know where our food yeah. comes from. That's and we want to be, we want to be a working, profitable farm too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's one of my things that I'm focused on is I want to be a working, profitable farm with our animals that we're getting. Yeah. The specific reason to get these animals was so we can start a business you know um i have a couple people ask me about garden you know when we get the garden going what are we going to do with because we have such a big garden mm -hmm. well once we do it then i'll probably go to flea or farmers markets and stuff and i want to focus us more on the herb aspect mm -hmm. than on yeah the vegetables really i mean vegetables will be a bonus but the herbs is really what I want to go after. I want to go after the high-end stuff. You know, the different types of uh, basil and rosemary and yeah. oregano and, you know, and sell those and also make my own herbs because, you know, being a chef for 32 years, I have a lot of my own seasonings that people yeah. have never had before. So that's kind of, that's the idea. The idea is to, to take this and make it into a business, mm -hmm. but not a business that takes your life up. Yeah. A business that just produces a small amount of cash flow for us, but we can also enjoy what we have. Yeah. And that that is one big purpose. Yep. So yeah, we got we got a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, I guess that's about it. That's a wrap up of, of us talking about our two year deal. Amy will put some clips and videos in there and give you guys some good music to go with it. And we're going to now show you the surprise. Amy? Ahsoka! Come here! You have Come to go here. up and get her. There she is. Come here! Pick her up. Come here! 
no, come here, come here. You guys come here so I can get this. You guys come here. <laughs> Everybody, camera. this is Ahsoka. Ahsoka, this is our YouTube family. She is absolutely adorable. <laughs> Every she passes, you can get up and take her and push to the camera. So everybody, everybody can see her. You got her? Everybody can see this beautiful little who we got for the, the homestead. You gotta go say hi. Go say hi to mommy. <laughs> yep. This is Ahsoka. <laughs> she is a blue healer. You can see by her little spots on her little feet here. She's got spots there. And she's about 10 weeks old. And she is the new addition to the Swisher family homestead slash farm. Yep. She is, the blue healers are phenomenal. She is an excellent dog. Uh, the person that we got her from was a uh, small farm. Mm -hmm. They had ducks and chickens and, 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 and turkeys and sheep and goats and- Yeah, all kinds and, of animals. Now the plus about this was, was that she kept the litter inside the house until the litter got big enough to where they could pretty much sustain on their own. And then she put them in with all the farm animals. Yeah. As pups. So the farm animals, so, she, so Soka has been around farm animals now for about four weeks. Mm -hmm. So she has, as uh, what do they call it? Um, acclimated. Yeah, she has acclimated to the farm animals around. So we don't have to worry, we won't have to worry about her with our chickens. Mm -hmm. We won't have to worry about her with her, with our other animals we're gonna be getting. She'll be fine on her own. Yeah. So everybody, that's the new addition to the family. We are really excited to have her. She's she, a very good dog. She's a very good dog. We love her very much. And she'll have a very good life on this yep. farm and homestead. Well, at that point, guys, look, we like to hang out a little longer, but I'm starting to get the cold chills. Yeah. It's getting chilly out <laughs> here. Um, like I said, we got a huge, huge storm coming in tomorrow. We're prepared for it. We got our wood ready. We got our water all set up. We're, uh, we're there. Um, don't forget, tell your friends about us, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button, that thumbs up that we like so much. Yep. And you know, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the the bottom the box down below and ask we'll be glad to get back in touch with you in a, in a reasonable amount of time and what well, depending on the storm yeah <laughs> so at that point guys god bless you swisher family homestead slash farm we're out of here thanks for watching